All right, well, the Memphis Office of Youth Services is putting on a career and technical expo. It is coming up March 24th. And joining us now to talk more about it is Ike Griffith, special assistant to Mayor Jim Strickland and director of the City Office of Youth Services and Community Affairs. Good morning. Glad to have you on. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk about it. Um, so this Career and Technical Expo, it's coming up towards the end of the month. What can people expect? Well, our young people can expect over hundreds of vendors that's going to be giving them the opportunity to be hired for a regular job. What we're trying to do is get in front of the classes of 2023 and have something in place for these young people to look forward to once they walk across the stage and get their high school diploma. Many of our young people are not going to college, and we want to make sure that we provide an opportunity for them to be productive individuals in our society. So I do want to give a shout out to Channel 5, uh, Mr. Jonathan Mitchell, for helping me to get the word out about this great event. Oh, good stuff. Love Jonathan. Uh, I'm glad that he's he's helping to get the word out with that um, with you, and that I'm glad you're on the digital desk today. You know, you were talking about all the vendors that are going to be there helping to give these opportunities to these young people. How important is it to be able to have a place where they can come? Everything's kind of a one stop shop and it's it's giving them opportunities. How important is that? It is very important. As I mentioned earlier, many of our young people are not going to college and to have vendors like TVA, who's one of my sponsors, cosmetology schools, uh, electricians, plumbers, NASA, Ford Oval, Blue Oval, just I can go on and on and on, but it's so important to have a event of this caliber where people will be hiring on the spot. And we ask our young people to come look in the part along with your resume. That is so very important. That's the first step. Your first impression is a lasting one. So we really want to provide an opportunity for those youth so they can become productive individuals in our society. Not only high school students in Memphis, but we have invited high school students from Mississippi and Arkansas. Crime is just not around in our area. It's around us too. So we want to provide those same opportunities for those young people. So we are opening up our doors at nine o'clock to one o'clock for our high school seniors. From one to five, we will have our college students, opportunity youth and adults. And our opportunity youth are those individuals that are school age, but not in school with no skills set. So we really want to make sure that we embrace all our young people in the city of Memphis and the surrounding area. And those are some big name companies that you mentioned too. So these are good jobs, good opportunities, and they're out there for our young people. And so let's just talk about, I know you said there's gonna be hundreds of vendors. Um, what, can, what else can people expect and what kind of other services are gonna be out there for people? Well, we have our second chance program that will be in effect. Uh, also, we are providing opportunities for interviews for those companies that can embrace those children and the young adults and our college students. And we will have those vendors that were hired just with a high school education. And we will have vendors that will uh, be hiring with college degrees. So it's so very important that we embrace all those vendors and thanking them, number one, for uh, coming on board with us, uh, like TVA and CTE program of Shelby County Schools, really just making this a big event. So we really are very excited about this event uh, at the Renaissance Center, as I mentioned, uh, just different careers that our young people can go into or just have a major concern about looking into a particular career. Uh, we will have uh, TCAT there, we'll be giving away a scholarship to go to their facility. So it's just a, a variety of, you know, opportunities for our young people, uh, training program, interviews, interactive career displays, second chance program, hiring on the spot. We're just really excited about this and we really want our young people to take advantage of this. We are losing too many of our young people. And as you may know or may not know, the youth in this city is a top priority of Mayor Jim Strickland. So he's allowed me to just venture out to do whatever I possibly can to help our young people become successful individuals in our society. And this definitely is a big step. This is big and, and helpful for, for our youth. And um, I, I've got a, I'm curious, have y'all put an expo 
like this on in the past? Is this y'all's first time to do this? And if so, um, what, how, how many people are you expecting to be out here? Well, hopefully thousands. This is our first time putting this on. Matter of fact, I was not budgeted in my budget to put this on, but I've been having great support of letting people know what we are trying to do to embrace our young people. Home structure is not like it used to be, and we need to be more aggressive in helping our young people become productive individuals in society. You know, each and every day, we constantly meet. We meet, meet, meet. As we are meeting, our youth are out here committing crime and other negatives in our society. So we need to meet in motion. We need to put in programs that's going to be beneficial. And also, we need to have effective consequences for our young people. We are, as adults, to be quite honest, we are losing this battle with our children. So having a program of this caliber is so very important. And we ask parents to make our children do. Some things parents need to make their children do. They shouldn't have no choice. And this is one of the events that we hope parents will support us on and so we can support their children. Absolutely. And so I know you were saying that this is a big, investing in our youth and really focusing on our youth is a big thing for you, Mayor Strickland. Is that kind of how this expo kind of came about? Is this just kind of one of those things? Well, I tell you, it came about just looking at data with the number of young people that may not be going to college, may not be attending college. So we got to find some positive things for our young people to do. And careers and technology is so valuable. It's so valuable because although we may have AI in our uh, society now, but I have yet to see a machine fix hair. I have yet to see a machine come to your house and fix your plumbing. So there's a lot of careers that young people can go into and be successful uh, in that process. And, you know, just making our children do and take it a part of something that's positive is very, very important. So we need to embrace our young people. We need to show them the right things to do, put them on the right track, number one, and hopefully they'll be successful. Hopefully it'll also deter crime because we have so many of our young people that we are losing each and every day. So we're all excited about putting on this career expo. We have invited, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, school system in Memphis and the surrounding areas, college students, adults. So just take advantage of this opportunity and let's have a great summer. Well, and I think this is awesome too, because it, it helps these young people to even know what kind of opportunity, what, what they are capable of, what they could do, what is out there for them that they can, you know, grab and hold on to. So this is great. I, I, real quick, can you kind of run over all those details again one last time and then where people can go to get some more information? Okay. Well, first of all, you can call our office at 901-636-6264. And this is Mayor Jim Strickland. Memphis Office of Youth Services Career and Technical Expo that will be held March 24th at the Renaissance Convention Center. And we ask our young people to come looking the part, bring your resumes, because we will have hundreds of vendors, interviews, second chance opportunities, hiring on the spot. And we ask our young people that are in high school from nine to one will be designated for you as high school seniors. From one to five will be our college students, opportunity youth, and adults. And opportunity youth are those individuals that are school age, but not in school. Business attire and bring your resume. So we're looking forward to seeing you. And I hope each and every one of you that come get hired on the spot. All right. Well, Ike, I, I've enjoyed having you on. Thank you for taking some time to get out this information to our viewers. And good luck with the expo. I'm sure it's going to be great. Thank you so very much.